Hello and welcome to Northern Homestead Spring 2021 Garden Update. What you see here is actually our driveway and we have been working on planting the other side of that driveway. We added a potato bed to grow potatoes in and uh, added uh, some trees and shrubs and flowers to make it more beautiful and also more useful. Here we are trying a new thing to grow a squash plant on the driveway to use the heat from the country to grow the plant. And since it's still early in the season and the weather is unpredictable, I have ready some containers and frost blankets to cover it if needed. We have been having some very unusual hot weather for this time of the year. Some of our plants that have been just planted are still covered because they're trying to get established. And there is some quite cold weather in the forecast, so the cover works for both very well. Next to the tomatoes in the raised bed, we planted some carrots to see if the carrot fly maybe doesn't find them in a the raised bed. That would be great. The tower garden has been planted with kale, as we usually do, to grow into a big kale tree. We grow food, not lawn, and try to use the space as much as we can. Here we took out a deck that was there and we didn't use much and made some more garden beds. The soil here is amazing. I planted some zucchini in this hot spot, a pepper plant, and all of it is still covered. And as I started a grape there. That was a cutting from the Somerset grape that grow on the other side. Um, these are new plants because our wildland grapes died. And we pruned these ones differently so that we can cover them for the winter. The geodesic dome greenhouse is planted and it's planted densely as always. We grow heat loving plants here mainly and in the spring we also grow lettuce and cabbage family plants. We usually prune our tomatoes to one stem but this year we are trying to grow some with two stems and see how that will go. These are both hard. They usually grow very tall and produce a lot of fruit. The broccoli is growing nicely next to the tomatoes, even though according to companion planting that shouldn't go well. But as you see, kohlrabi does well too. In small space, a lot more is possible than we usually think. So plant and see what happens. That's usually what we do. Greenhouse strawberries are really just more for fun. It's so nice to have some early fruit before anything ripens outside. The cucumbers are just planted because they like a lot of heat, so they are still very small, but they will grow. Maybe you remember that we grew one fig bush in our greenhouse. And this spring we divided that bush and made two out of one or actually three. There was a lot of roots left and we were wondering how they will do. We planted them and waited to see what happened. And here is what did happen. Look at those healthy little trees. There's lots of wood growing and we are very excited about it. The trees are growing on top of the water tank that we are using to heat and cool the greenhouse. And we have more information about that on the blog. If you are following us for a while, you will see that we changed it this year because we are always looking for ways to improve what we are doing. The backyard garden is coming along nicely. As always, we are growing annual vegetables here. Here is the overwintering spinach that we have information about on the blog that worked quite well this year again. 
and we are harvesting it. Here I planted cabbage that will fill in the space and then there is dill that went to seed last year. The garlic, if you follow that, you know that we planted two different garlic types. In front are gar new garlic and in the back are garlic from the year before. And in early spring, the difference was so big, but now you see really no difference at all. So um, I'm curious to see what the harvest will be. Our trees got hit this year by frost while flowering, but it looks like that they still have fruit on them. And we did some grafting this year to add some different plum varieties to help with pollination and it looks like that the graftings took very well at least most of them and we are very excited about it, to have more plums and enjoy them the indoor garden is mostly empty at this time of the year because as you see there isn't so much sunshine a few plants are over summering in here, so to speak. Some are waiting for better weather. There is a new lime tree that we added to our collection and it's flowering nicely and it's um, very exciting. The Kratki tomato plant that we started in the winter is producing. Growing the Kratki way is simple. We have information about that on the blog. Here are basil plants also grown the Kratki way. The garden is a place to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.